Church Tech Weekly presents Infocom 2013, brought to you by Bose Professional Systems, committed to developing best-in-class products, tools, and services to create original audio experiences. All right, we've come back over to the Bose booth, and I'm here with Tom Tyson. He's going to tell us about not only some uh, new coverage angles that are in the uh, Bose Room Match line, but a new speaker as well. So, Tom, take it away. Well, uh, two years ago, we came out with this line of, uh, of uh, modules for the Room Match Array, which was progressively direct directive, um, but we didn't have the ability to control the horizontal uh, differently from the left side or the right side. And a lot of times in rooms, you want to have different horizontal patterns uh, or an asymmetrical pattern so that you're not putting sound on the side walls where you really don't want it. So we've come out with 11 different patterns now to, uh, that we've added to our line that can give us this asymmetrical pattern. So in this case here, we can show that we can do a 60 degree horizontal pattern off center and a 28 degree pattern. So it's asymmetrical and we have so 11 different versions of that to mix up and match to keep the sound really where you want it to the seats and not on the side walls. And do those go along with, you've got a bunch of vertical patterns as well, so I assume you can adjust the, ver the vertical is variable as long as, long as that. Yeah, uh, it works the same way. We have the, the varying pattern, vertical dispersion patterns. We have five, 10, uh, 20, and 40s, and 60 degree patterns vertically. So you can really tailor the coverage to the room exactly. You don't really have to worry about splashing stuff all over the place. You can get it very dialed in. Yeah, exactly, and that's why we call the, the product Room Match. Yeah. The idea was to really match the coverage to the, to the room seating areas, keeping it off the ceilings and the walls. And so this new line of asymmetrical patterns really helps do that. Because you, before, you'd have to try to turn the array in towards the center. That put too much sun on the stage, didn't look right. Um, and this really helps you do that. Yeah. Now, I understand there's a new box available, a small uh, kind of an infill utility box available. Yeah, that's correct. Uh, one thing we were missing was the ability to use to use the same type of products for under balcony, for instance, uh, where you wanted to have the same tonal characteristics. So we came out with this new uh, RMU-208 uh, box, which uses uh, two 8-inch uh, uh, woofers. And then uh, one of the cons the same compression driver, just a single compression driver that we're using in the room match arrays, and but we're crossing over still very low. We cross over 200 hertz into the yeah. So it, so that really puts a majority of the bandwidth still behind a waveguide where we're controlling the pattern. Uh, and this box though, there's just one pattern. It's a 90 by 60 pattern, uh, but it's really low profile for under balconies. You can use it as a stage uh, monitor if you want. Uh, you could use it in a lot of different applications. You could use it on a wall. Uh, wall-mounted application as well. Awesome. And then there's a, a new low-frequency box as well, I understand. Oh, yeah. We're really excited about that. Uh, it's a, a double 18 sub, and it's truly a subwoofer. Uh, uh, we're minus 3 dB at 30 hertz, and that's without any uh, external equalization. Truly a sub, uh, you know, a, a sub, very low, uh, mi minus 10 at 25 hertz. So these really will take care of all those low electronic instruments, five-string basses, all that stuff that really goes low. And it, uh, it's low enough to fit under stages. Uh, it is just the same width as the room match array, so it can be arrayed with the same rigging frames. Um, and uh, it's just, just a great addition to the product line. That's awesome. And um, all this stuff is available when? Most of the products will be we will be launching uh, here in the summer and in the fall, uh, these new products. Sometime in the next few months, all stuff will be available. Absolutely. And if you want to learn more about this stuff, you can go to pro.bose.com. And uh, you can see the new, new uh, asymmetrical speakers, the new infill speakers, the new low frequency. Plus, as we showed in some of the last videos, uh, new DSP and amplifiers. So a lot of new products coming from Bose. So pro.bose.com. Thanks, Tom. Thank you.